Good evening, everyone. This is Rochelle. I pray everybody is having a blessed Sabbath. I know I am. God is so good and he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Um, I want to share a scripture with you on today. Um, and I haven't been uploading for the last couple of days, you know, because I've been staying offline. If there was something I needed to do, then I'd do it. But I really been staying offline, seeking God's face. And I know and I can tell you, God has truly blessed me. But Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. People, at this time, in this season, we need to be seeking the face of God. We need to be seeking the things of God. The word God says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. We need to continue to do the Father's will. And let me tell you, when we see God's face through the word, through reading his word, through prayer, through fasting, let me tell you something. God blesses you. And he said he's a rewarder of them that digitally seek him, meaning that we press into him. Amen. And he reward us with more revelation of him. He reward us, you know, with just his blessings, you know, and, and it overtakes us. You know, God is so good. I can sit here and tell y'all, and it's not about me. It's about him. I can just tell you how in the last two weeks, God has just been blessing me. Lord, God is so good. He's been, he been blessing me, but I just see how he's just been moving, you know, opening doors for me. And a lot of times, you know, we be wanting, wanting things on our, on our own time, but God works in, he, he works in seasons and he, he move when he see fit. You know, a lot of times, you know, we could think, okay, Lord, it seems like it's time, Lord. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. But God said, no, it's not so. He moved when he get ready, when he see his fit. And God has truly been blessing me. God has truly been touching the hearts of people to give unto us all different types of things. You know, God is so good, y'all. And I just tell everybody, the only way to please God is by, is by having faith. Faith in his word. Faith that he will move for you. Faith that, you know, he will move mountains. You know, you can move them, you know what I'm saying, with faith. You know, and y'all... I can sit here and tell y'all a hundred thousand things. But God's so good. God has been blessing me supernaturally to lose all this weight. Um, I asked God, I said, Lord, I, it's hard for me, Lord God. I, I myself, I can't do it. And I know God has been blessing me. Um, Because, you know, I gained a, a hundred pounds with having my children back to back to back. And God has truly blessed me. Y'all, I got up to 299 pounds. 299 pounds and after i had my last baby hannah the baby weight i think i was like at 265 268 but i've been off and on you know for the last two years but i truly been going at it for the last i say about a month and a half two months and god has truly blessed me um i'm down now to 208 and my goal is to get even lower because you know my basketball weight <clears throat> i don't think i was like at 170 175, but I'm not worrying about getting that low as long as I'm between 190, 200, 190 to 192. Um, I just want to continue to be healthy. But God bless me, y'all, so much. Lord have mercy. But, you know, I'll share it with you later. But God is so good, y'all. Jesus is so faithful to us. He's faithful to us when we're not faithful. You know, and that's all he wants to do is be faithful. He never said be perfect because we can't be perfect. Because if we could be perfect, then there was no purpose for Jesus coming. He's the perfect one. He's the good one. And I'm only what I am by the grace of God. Only because of Jesus. And I want to take this last couple seconds to plug my new channel. Everybody, well, people that know me, they know that I'm a personal cook. I don't call myself a chef because I haven't went to culinary art, art school yet. You hear me say yet. But I have a channel. It's called Epic Cheat Meals. And basically what I'm going to be doing, you know, I eat clean during the week. But I do have cheat meals probably two or three times out of the week. But probably one to two times out of the week, I'm going to, like, show my cheat meal what I eat. You know, so, like I said, I am am the owner of Mo Meals. I meal prep for people. I cook different types of meals for people. People who are trying to lose fat. People who just don't have time to cook because they hit their work schedule. But you can find that on Facebook. Mo Meals, M O Meals, M E A L Z, Hartsville, South Carolina. So you'll say Mo Meals, 
Hartsville SC. So I just want to plug that. Like I said before, my my um second channel is Epic Cheat Meals. And look me up, subscribe to the channel. But like I said, God is truly blessing me, y'all. God is truly opening doors. And God will do it for you too if we just be obedient to his word and do his will. And for everybody who's subscribing to my channel, thank you so much. God bless you. And continue to keep me in prayer. God has opened so many doors. I I have like three engagements. I'm I'm gonna be ministering this on this month. So saints of God, keep me in prayer. And I don't have a problem with asking the saints of God who are truly following Christ to for prayers because the apostle Paul, many apostles, they coveted the prayers of the saints of God. And I'm not too too good to say, oh, I don't ask people for prayer, the saints of God. I don't ask anybody for prayer because everybody don't pray in Jesus' name and God ain't accepting everybody's prayer, especially if you're not in Christ. But the saints of God, I ask you to keep me in prayer. Keep me in prayer with every endeavor that I do that God bless the work of my hands. And just thank you, everybody, for subscribing to my channel. God is great and he's worthy to be praised. And remember that the Lord Jesus Christ, he loves you. God bless.